is K2 News at 6 on your side. Tonight, K2 is on your side, going straight to Portland city leaders over an issue that small business owners say cripples their progress. The city, in some cases, forces them to spend tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes six figures, fixing sidewalks and street corners outside their business. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. K2 investigator Wright Gasaway has been investigating these requirements for more than a year. He's live for us tonight. So, Wright, these projects aren't cheap. They're not dead. In some cases, business owners tell me putting in corner ramps like this costs well over $100,000. We took that concern to one city leader with a specific question. Will he support changing the rules? Our investigation started last year in northwest Portland at Matt Basinger's brand new axe throwing business. His building permit came with a condition. He needed to add new corner ramps and a new storm drain at the street corner outside his business. A K2 investigation led a Portland agency to backtracks. However, the city waived nearly all of its requirements after a months long K2 investigation. How much money did you save not having to do this work? I know for certain, I think we saved upwards of $200,000. Cammie Price wasn't so lucky. She and her business partner applied for a permit to renovate their new office in North Portland back in 2019. The Portland Bureau of Transportation told her she needed to upgrade the corner outside her office. Do you remember the very first time you got a bid for that corner, what you thought when you got the price? <laughs> I wanted to cry. It was way above what they told us it was going to be, like several several thousands more. She says the corner cost her over $100,000, roughly twice what Peabot told her to expect. And this is a story we did on, the, on a business that was required to uh, add a corner ramp outside yep. their business. We showed Commissioner Mingus Maps our investigation into Cammie's situation. The city made her fix that corner despite a planned state project that would have covered the same work. And I've seen the story before, excellent reporting. Does that situation sound fair? Oh, no, obviously not. I can very much understand why Cammie is upset. Maps is in charge of Peabot today. He was not in 2019. All of that played out, frankly, before I took over Peabot. I do not believe the same situation would happen today. Um, and we do operate within a re regulatory environment that we have to you know, comply with. At the same time, I've made it very clear to people that we want to work with businesses and developers to um, build great infrastructure and grow small businesses. These corner ramp projects are called frontage improvements. The city requires them under two circumstances. The first is if you make significant alterations to a building. That's what happened to Cami. The second scenario is if your business increases the number of daily trips to a property. Basically, you bring more people to the building than its prior use did. That's what happened in Matt's axe throwing business. The city recently approved an exception if the increase in trips is below a certain threshold. It would not have applied in Matt's case. Do you think small businesses should have their project costs doubled by a city required project well I'd hate to I'd hate to see that again I think in most situations if you file an appeal we're going to be able to work with you in order to bring the cost of that project down the city says the best way to fight the cost is through what's called an alternative review process certainly I've sent the message to Peabot that we should work constructively with developers and constructively with property owners and constructively with business owners to make sure that their uh, improvement projects and you know both happen and at the same time uh, do common sense things like result in sidewalks you know outside your your business other cities do it differently our investigation found Seattle waives the requirements if the project changes the use of a building like Matt or if it's an alteration to an existing building like Cami. I think the goal of what they're trying to accomplish makes sense. I think the way they're doing it is just making it really hard for businesses to be able to set up and open up shop. Do you think the city should review how it requires the frontage improvements? Well, I think if you're building something and it's going to result in more foot traffic or more uh, car traffic in front of your space and there's not uh, sufficient uh, infrastructure for that, it's not unreasonable to have that expectation. An expectation some small business owners tell me makes Portland a hard place to do business.
So cost is a hang up here. Peabot has consistently said for the last year or so that these projects cost between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. We've now heard from three businesses who spent over a hundred thousand dollars. I asked Commissioner Maps if Peabot really can get these projects done for so much cheaper, would they allow these businesses to just pay that as a fee and then have the city go find a contractor to do the corner? Commissioner Maps says he will look into that proposal. Right at the moment, only Commissioner Maps can propose rule changes within Peabot since he's in charge of that bureau. Did any other commissioners weigh in on this? We did hear from some. The bigger concern is that it might deter business development. Commissioner Carmen Rubio says she absolutely supports a review of these rules to see how they're affecting small businesses. She says if elected mayor in November, she would order that review next year. We're live in Northeast Portland, Wright Gazaway, K2 News. Interesting story, Wright, thank you. Do you have a story for Wright? Email him at k2investigates at k2.com or leave a voicemail at this number, 503-231-4205.